Hello and welcome. Today we will be talking about Got Mick. Got Mick is a drag queen that is also a trans man. So in the past on the channel we had talked about trans women doing drag and non-binary AMAB people doing drag, right? But trans men can be drag queens as well. So this video is about a particular drag queen, Got Mick, who is a trans man. Now, he is on season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. My, has it been that long? Really? 13 seasons? At least I think it's 13. It's not 12, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 13. 13 seasons! I remember watching season 2 or 3 with an ex many, many many moons ago so yeah season 13 finally got a trans man on there uh so i don't really know too much about him there's only two episodes of the season so far so we're still discovering who he is what kind of person he is the type of vibes that i'm getting from him is he comes off like he's gonna be one of those androgynous queens somebody that plays with gender a bit so i'm expecting to see some flat chest and some pasties instead of breast forms stuff like that maybe some androgynous makeup you know so those are the vibes that i'm getting from him from his drag style now the half of the contestants that he's came out to it seems like everybody is overwhelmingly supportive so far so that's awesome like most men that do drag, he uses he, him pronouns outside of drag, and she, her, while doing drag. Now, for them, the she, her, I don't think is part of their identity. I think it's just part of their performance persona. So outside of drag, I don't think that they would like that very much. So it's like he, him, outside of drag. And then she, her, inside of drag. It's important to respect somebody's identity, right? Like who they are. Hope they don't turn into a villain later in the series. Because right now they seem like a pretty good person. And they're the first trans man on RuPaul's Drag Race. So that's, you know, whether they want it to be or not, it's a bit of representation, right? So right now there's potentially you know little baby trans men that are considering doing drag or maybe non-binary afab people that might look up to them so it's important that they are that you know a good person and they're not uh, too evil i also hope that the positive support that they get on the show continues and they don't really experience any like transphobia later on um, because, like I said, they've only met half the contestants, and hopefully all the staff is, you know, accepting as well. I'm sure that some of the fan base, like, might be giving them some toxicity. There's a lot of closed-minded people out there, even in the LGBT community. So, um, you know, I think it's really important to stick together love one another but you know not everybody <laughs> sees things through the same lens that i see things through and that many on this channel see things through so uh, i'm hoping that they don't really get too much backlash or hate but so far it seems to be a lot of support which is awesome if you know anything about them feel free to leave it in the comments section i'm still learning about him myself and on that note i'm out and don't forget to subscribe peace